Uh, it's my shrimp and artichoke scampi. So it's a twist on shrimp scampi. Great way to serve shrimp, doing it inexpensively. And this, you know, by the time you start it and get it to the dinner table, 15 minutes or less. We are going to even make it quicker with angel hair pasta, which cooks up in almost less half the time than regular spaghetti. So you can use regular spaghetti, linguine, or in this case, we're going to use some angel hair. So we'll get it going very, very quickly. In fact, the dangerous thing about angel hair is you have to keep a close eye on it. It cooks so quick that sometimes it can overcook. And in this case, we're going to actually throw that pasta into our skillet and, and cook it just a little bit more in this wonderful lemony white wine sauce. So I want to really keep an eye on that and not overcook it. So it goes into my boiling water, a little bit of salt. If you watch the show, you know how important it is to season that uh, pasta water because it really is the only chance you're going to get to season that pasta with a little bit of salt. And now we're going to work on the rest of the dish. So the biggest skillet you have, I'm adding a, a couple tablespoons of olive oil. And then I've got some fresh garlic. It's a shrimp artichoke scampi. And so most shrimp scampi recipes, garlic, lemon, olive oil, a little bit of butter. So it's up to you how much garlic you want to throw in here. I always say if a couple people are eating it, we cancel each other out. So it's okay for a date night if you both are having garlic. We love garlic in our house. And I don't use one of those fancy garlic presses. I just use the back of my knife, give it a whack that way, and then just chop it up a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfectly chopped. In a pinch, you could use the jarred garlic that comes you know, already chopped for you. It's a little bit strong. So this recipe has so few ingredients that I really prefer using fresh chop, but that's up to you. Now, when it comes to garlic, you have to be really careful with it because if it's the only thing in the pan when we start out with, got to get it into our skillet with that olive oil and really keep it moving. Don't want to burn it. It gets a bitter taste then, and then the whole dish is ruined. We love shrimp in our house. Ireland's a huge fan of shrimp, loves ordering at the restaurants, and um, I've had to say, you know what, it's a little over our budget, so why don't we make shrimp at home? So this is a great way to stretch your shrimp dollar. I buy shrimp in those two pound bags of frozen shrimp and then just take out a handful or two uh, when I want it, when I need it, uh, thaw it quick in the fridge during the day while I'm at work or run it under cool running water and it thaws out in you know just a few minutes. Um, and it doesn't matter really how much shrimp you have for this recipe. If you just have a handful or a quarter of a pound, it's still going to work. So I'm waiting for my pan to heat up. And this garlic is starting to smell very, very nicely. Can you smell that, Ann? Yeah. Let me check on my pasta. Almost done. And I'm going to get to work on um, some of the other parts of this recipe. I've got one can of quartered artichoke hearts. And I just want to drain that can real well. Get rid of the liquid that's inside there. Okay. Our garlic is starting to cook a little bit as our pan's starting to heat up. So now I'm going to add my shrimp. And I'm moving that garlic around. Don't dare want to burn it. So at this point, I've got peeled de-veined, and it's up to you whether you want to do the tail on or off. It's easier to eat when it's off, but sometimes it looks very pretty with the tail on. So notice how I'm putting the shrimp around the pan and not overcrowding it. It cooks so quickly. So that's why I mentioned getting dinner on the table in a real hurry. Shrimp cooks quicker than ground beef, quicker than chicken, quicker than pork. This pasta angel hair that we got, got going here, super quick. So if you are in a really big hurry and want to throw something together, this really can be a go-to dish that you'd pay 25 to 30 bucks a person out at a restaurant for this. This is going to serve a family of four, and you're going to be able to do this for, I would say, under 15 bucks. And that's divided by four. And it's going to be pretty healthy, too. OK. See how quick that shrimp cooks? And I'm going to turn this down a little bit, because I don't want that garlic to burn on me. 
Now we're going to start adding the rest of the ingredients. Quickly turn over the shrimp. How good does that smell, Ann? Yummy. Yummy, yummy, I know. Ann likes shrimp too. Good for it is good for you in moderation. Okay. Seasoning that shrimp with a little bit of salt. And you could do regular pepper, or I like to do just a pinch of red pepper flakes. It's not going to make the dish real hot or anything. Now we're going to deglaze the pan, meaning get the great drippings from the bottom of the pan. I'm going to crank up my heat and do some dry white wine, or you could do chicken stock. And we're just using, I love using these little bottles of uh, this happens to be a Chardonnay, which I love to use when it comes to cooking. Um, don't need to buy that $35 bottle of wine when it comes to cooking. You save that for drinking. These are real inexpensive. They're great to have on hand for recipes. And then if you've got some left over, screw on the top, put it in your fridge, and use it for another recipe down the road. Okay. Also adding our artichoke hearts. Ann has reminded me to check the pasta. Thank you very much, Ann. I do not want to overcook that pasta. That again would ruin the whole dish. And remember that that pasta is going to continue to cook right there in the colander. So if you really want to stop the cooking, run some cool water over it. Okay, now lemon zest, it's about lemony fresh today. And I love any kind of seafood with lemon. So that's also a key ingredient to scampi is um, a, some sort of you know lemon juice. And a lot of times, you don't see the lemon zest in scampi recipes. I say, what the heck? If you're going to use fresh lemon juice in a recipe anyway, why not pump up that lemon flavor? The recipe calls for about two teaspoons of fresh lemon zest. I'm not really going to measure. You don't really need to do that. It's kind of hard to measure. But I just, I'm going to use this lemon for its juice. So I'm using my own microplane. to just get some extra lemon flavor in there. You know, if you're doing like a, a lemon dessert, why not use the zest too? OK. And it's just really easy to get that zest with this microplane right out of there. Just tap it, and you're good to go. All right. Now we're going to do a couple tablespoons of fresh lemon juice. I just like to squeeze it over my hand so I could catch any seeds. Boy, I lucked out. I need to buy a lottery ticket. No seeds in that one. So fresh lemon juice. And then another way to get some more great lemony flavor is to add some capers. Capers, you're going to find these near the pickles in the grocery store, near the pickles. And I happen to love them. They have got a very mild, kind of a lemon, but pickly flavor. The spoon is too big for that jar. They come in a little jar because a little bit packs a lot of punch. Love to add this when I'm making homemade tartar sauce. It looks really pretty in the dish. And they, I know at first when I had these in a recipe, Ireland was a little nervous about them. She's like, what are those little things? And then she, now she's fallen in love with them. They really do taste, they're very mild. They taste lemony. And they add a lot to a dish. OK, at this point, I'm going to turn off the heat, because the sauce is all nice and, and reducing down with the artichoke hearts, the lemon juice, the lemon zest. And I'm going to add a couple tablespoons of butter. Now, this is optional, but I want you to watch and see what this does. What it does is it tightens the sauce a little bit. So no, this isn't going to be like a, a thick Alfredo sauce, but it's going to coat our pasta a little bit because that butter finishing the, and I'm using cold butter, do you see how it kind of makes it a little bit more creamy? And also, of course, adds some great flavor. And glossy. and glossy is what Ann said. Very true. All right, and the last but not least, we've got some fresh parsley, which is really good for you and just adds a nice bright color. And it's a great way to finish a lot of dishes is with some fresh herbs. And that's what they do at the restaurants. So it's fun to do it at home, too, and look, really look like a rock star. OK.
in goes our pasta. The artichoke hearts also make this dish a little bit more special, and they bulk it up. Don't have to use as much shrimp because we have the artichoke hearts in there. We'll take that pasta and really coat it as much as we can with the sauce. May not need all the pasta. Oops. And we'll add our parsley. And there you go. Of course, got to get some shrimp, and then you can decorate the plate with maybe some fresh lemon wedges. Angel here is a little bit messy to work with. As you can see, I'm kind of struggling with it. So there you go. We'll get rid of that little one. A little extra parsley, and I'll decorate it with a little lemon wedge as well. There you go, my shrimp and artichoke scampi recipes on the website. A great way to use those lemons that you have sitting in that bottom drawer of your fridge anyway. Really delicious. You need to make this. Coming up, some more citrus fresh ideas and recipes, so stay with us. We'll be back.